In this video, we'll go over the ins and outs of rollable tables on Roll20. To start making your rollable table, head over to the top right corner of the screen and click on the Collections tab. It's the icon with three dots and lines. Scroll down a little and you'll see the Rollable Tables section. To start, click the Add button next to Rollable Tables. Great! A new blank table called New Table was just made. Let's take a look at it by clicking on the name of the table. Here you can change the name of the table, choose whether your players can roll on this table, and create the items that will be on the table. To start, let's give our table a name. This one will be called Treasure. Now, we do want our players to be able to roll on this table when they find some treasure, so let's keep the players can roll from table checkbox checked. You might want to uncheck this box if you're creating a table where some of the options might be spoilers or give away parts of the plot. You don't want your players to accidentally see something they shouldn't. The next section lets you fill out your table items. These are the items or choices you can receive when rolled. To add an item, first click the Add Item button. In this new window, you can edit the new item. First, let's give it a name. Let's call this item 10 Gold Pieces. Okay, we want every item on this table to have an equal chance of being rolled. So we'll keep the weight at one. Now, if you wanted each item to have a different percentage chance of being rolled, you can type in the percentage chance without the percent symbol. So for example, if we wanted this item of 10 gold pieces to have a 25% chance of being rolled, we'd set the weight to 25. Now, keep this number in mind when creating new items though, because a complete table should add up to 100%. Okay, now if you want to add a picture to your item, you can click upload or drag a picture into the box at the bottom. Once you're done editing your item, click Save Changes at the bottom of the window. Now your item is added to the table. I'm going to make a few more items here just to make our table look a little bit more full. There we go. Our rollable random treasure table is good to go. Let's use it. Using your table is so easy. You and the players that have access can head over to the Collections tab and click Roll next to the name of the rollable table. Whatever was rolled on the table will show up in chat for everyone to see. Speaking of chat, you can also roll directly inside of chat by typing in slash roll space one T, T is in table, left bracket, treasure, the name of our table, right bracket, hit enter. Great. Now here's a tip. You can turn a rollable table into a macro really quickly by going back to the collections tab and clicking add under macro. We're going to call this macro treasure table and under actions, we're going to write what we just wrote in chat, but inside inline brackets. Okay, let me show you. Type left bracket, left bracket, which means inline text. Then we type what we just typed into chat earlier. One T, as in one table, left bracket, treasure for the name of the table we'd like to roll from, right bracket to close off that table, and then right bracket, right bracket, which closes off the inline text. I'm going to check show as token actions and save changes. Perfect. Now when I click on a token, a macro button will show up. If I click it, it will roll from our new treasure table. And hey, it even has that nice inline text formatting. Another cool thing you can do with tables is create a rollable table token. Think of it like a token with multiple sides. This is great for a token that changes appearance a lot, like a doppelganger or shapeshifter. Let's create a mimic. We're going to follow the same steps we did previously. I'm going to name this table Mimic. Now each item we add to the table will be an appearance a mimic can assume. Just make sure to add an image for each item. If your table has no images attached to it, it cannot become a rollable token. I'm going to add a few more items to our table and see what we get. Once we have all the items and appearances we want, click the Save Changes button at the bottom. Finally, to add your new rollable token to the board, simply click the Token button next to the name of the table. Your new token will pop up on the tabletop. If you right click on the token and hover over multi sided you'll see two options, random side and choose side. If we choose random, our token will flip randomly to another image we add it to our table. If we select choose, we'll get a slider and we can now pick and choose what side we'd like to activate. Rollable tables are a great way to add some randomness and fun to your game. 